All right, hey everybody, and welcome to this emergency uh, Full Circle broadcast show. Uh, I'm editor-in-chief of FullCircleCinema.com, Jackson Hayes, and today I'm joined by my news and media editor, Caleb Saad. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, this was a very uh, last-minute pod we decided to put together, but, you know, this is some some of the biggest news on the internet right now, and we could not talk about it, so uh, we want to make this quick little video for you guys. Yeah, so, I mean, we didn't plan to do a show, uh, I'm sure a lot of... Uh, Places like us weren't planning to do shows and write articles like we had to last night, but uh, some of the biggest news you can ever get drops, and uh, you gotta you gotta do what you gotta do. So um, we have our next Batman, um, potentially. It seems uh, it's all 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 up in the air, I guess, at this moment. But uh, last night, uh, Variety reported that Robert Pattinson uh, is in talks to play Bruce Wayne and Matt Reeves as the Batman. Um, following that, uh, we got a report from Deadline that claimed that. Pattinson was just the front runner for the role, and Nicholas Holt um, was also being eyed if, if a deal with Pattinson couldn't be made. Then THR came out and said that uh, Holt and Army Hammer were both up for the role if Pattinson wasn't uh, wasn't able to make a deal. But at this point, it looks like Pattinson is going to take a, take the deal, and that uh, he's going to be our next Batman. So, Caleb, uh, what what were your initial thoughts uh, when you heard this news last night, and uh, like just how the internet reacted in general? Um, well. This Robert Pattinson was kind of at the top of a couple people's, you know, fan cast. So it was something I had been, you know, keeping in the back of my mind for a little while. And honestly, like I was like, I guess I was probably too young when like Twilight and that came out. So like I, that didn't have that like stigma of like, oh, he's just the vampire Edward or whatever from Twilight. And, you know, when the casting came out, like I think at first you're just like, you know, he's not really like he doesn't jump out as Batman to you, but. I think, you know, obviously they're looking for a younger actor and I think he could really pull it off because the stuff I've seen him in has been like, he's been amazing. And like, if you've seen Good Time, like he is so good in that movie. So good that like, I didn't even know it was like the same guy from Twilight. Like I obviously I knew of him, but I didn't actually realize that that was actually Robert Pattinson because he's like so transformative in that role. And after thinking about it for a while, I'm like, I'm really on board with this and I'm looking at pictures of him right now, and like he can definitely pull off the the Bruce Wayne kind of playboy look, especially as a younger guy. And that's something we haven't really seen on screen before, is like kind of Batman like in his twenties and thirties. And so that that's something I'm really looking forward to. So, what about yourself? Yeah, I mean, um, if with all the potential names that are being thrown around, like Nicholas Holt, Aaron Taylor Johnson, and uh, you know Army Hammer was you know there was a little little thing that went on with that uh, like about a month ago, but. Um, Honestly, always at the top of my list uh, between those choices was sort of Robert Pattinson. I mean, they all had their 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 you know uh, uh, they had good qualities and bad qualities. Looking at them on paper, um, obviously you wouldn't know until they actually get into their role. I mean, just see like Michael Keaton and, and Christian Bale. Like they didn't have the exact build and and physique that most people assumed when you're playing Batman. Um, but uh, they've stepped into the role and did their own thing with it, just like Affleck did. And you know, unfortunately, we couldn't, we weren't able to keep Affleck around. I know a lot of people, including myself, really enjoyed his take on the character. Uh, not so much in Justice League, but I don't blame him for that. That was a that was a whole separate issue. Uh, but him and Batman v Superman like w- played a very good Batman. But uh, you know, if we couldn't keep him, I think this is a great not backup, but just a different take on the character, having him be you know younger and step away from the larger universe. So I mean. Uh, Twilight was a long time ago. Uh, those movies finished what seven, eight years ago. Uh, they started around ten years ago. So I think he's moved on from that. Um, he's done a lot of good things. I mean, he's he's going to star in Christopher Nolan's next movie, which is no small feat. I mean, Christopher Nolan doesn't pick people uh, who he doesn't believe can can take on his material, and his material is heavy stuff. Um, I mean, just see Matthew McConaughey in Interstellar. You know, during the McConaissance, he came in and just destroyed that role in Interstellar, and. And uh, I'm sure I'm sure Pattinson will do a great job in that movie, and I'm I'm really excited to see him as the Batman. Uh, I mean, we you know every time you get something like this, there's a lot of backlash and a lot of people who are like, well, I just want Affleck, and like you know we can't have Affleck, or people that people that just can't look past him in other roles, which it, it, it's it's a little unfair because every other actor that's taken on the role of Batman has had you know past failures or past things that don't don't look great on the resume, but uh, I think I think this is an astute choice. I think this is a great choice. I think I think. He's going to bring something that we haven't seen before, and I'm, I'm really excited to see it. Yeah, I agree. And you kind of mentioned it, but like the internet, I wouldn't say it exploded. Some people are, I think, blowing out of proportion a little bit. But there's obviously been some backlash, which is expected with any big casting for a beloved character like this. And while it definitely isn't as much as Ben Affleck, because that was, you know, insane. Like we all remember when he was cast in 
literally everybody had their own opinion on how he was going to be the worst Batman of all time. And we all know how that turned out. And there are a lot of people out there saying like, oh, like, you know, Edward Cullen, like he can't pull off Batman and the nuance and all that. And it's just very obvious that one, these people haven't been paying attention to just the movies in movies in general, how this exact same thing happened when Ben Affleck was cast. And they haven't been paying attention to Robert Pattinson's career, like since Twilight, where he's had many great movies. And it's funny that Christopher Nolan is actually casting him in his next movie, meaning he has Christopher Nolan's seal of approval. So if, you know, you're still holding on to that Dark Knight, uh, Christian Bale, like version of Batman, like it's something Christopher Nolan approves of. And someone had even uh, made a theory that Christopher Nolan could have even had something to do with this casting, because if he really does like him for his next movie, you know, Warner Brothers, the same lot as what he's probably working on right now. And just say like, hey, look at this guy, like audition him like he's he'd be great for the role. So, you know, we everybody just needs to hold judgment. You know, I think he's going to be great. But obviously, like literally anything can happen. And this has been a very extensive casting process, it seems. I mean, this movie has been in development for a long time. And ever since Batman or Ben Affleck kind of left the role, I'm sure they've been immediately looking for every single, you know, young actor in the business. And so it's not, this isn't some ill-fitted, you know, casting they just did on a whim. Like, they know what they're doing, and I believe Matt Reeves knows what he's doing when he's, you know, looking at these actors. And I I think to him, Robert Pattinson's probably the best fit for his script, and, you know, that makes me really excited. Yeah, I mean, every, you know, we've, we've, we've been through this so many times. Um, I mean, you, you just go back to something just like Heath Ledger with The Dark Knight. Uh, people didn't believe Christopher Nolan then. They thought he was a loon. Um, uh, it, it, like whenever a role like this is cast, it's just it's it's everyone has an opinion. Everyone wants to go to the negative. Everyone wants to look at everyone's IMDb page and every bad thing on it. But I mean, come on, Ben Affleck had Daredevil. Michael Keaton was a comedian. Christian Bale was was a, was an actor. He's a solid actor, but he's not who he is today. He's not the you know multi Academy Award winning you know nominated every year kind of guy. So I just think you gotta you gotta give somebody a shot. And I think. Uh, Based on the choices that were apparently up for the role, uh, I like Pattinson a lot better than I like Nicholas Holt. Nothing against Nicholas Holt, but I don't think he's Batman. Um, Army Hammer is a different case, but uh, I still don't think Army Hammer is the actor that Robert Pattinson is in terms of the range. And uh, even Aaron Taylor Johnson, I mean, he might have the physique and he may have the look, but I just don't think he... he it's, a, it's, a, it's a nuance. It's two separate... You're playing two separate characters. You're playing Batman, and then you're playing Bruce Wayne, who who is a completely different... Uh, like take on 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 you know the billionaire philanthropist guy and and it's 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 not the same thing and you're playing a dual role and like someone needs the range to do that in a well in a good way which Christian Bale did um Affleck we didn't get to see as much but still he he did well with what he was given so I think there's a lot there to work with um I think having him separate from the bigger universe is also going to be helpful and I think I think the, there's a lot that Matt Reeves can do here with Robert Pattinson as opposed to the other options yeah, and I already kind of mentioned this, but I implore anyone who doesn't think he has the range to pull off a character like this to check out any of his like latest movies, like High Life, which came out this year. I haven't seen it, but I've heard he's great in that role. I've heard and great then, things about it. Good Time, like that was probably my favorite movie of 2017. Like that was, I didn't see it until 2018, and I had to like redo my list because it was so good. And a lot of it's due to like his acting. He plays kind of like a druggie and. You know, I know that's very different from Bruce Wayne, but it just shows that he has the range and he's more than just, you know, Edward Cullen from Twilight. And he's he's got a lot of stuff that, you know, I don't think people have realized, you know, a lot of like fanboys kind of jump at the first thing they think of, which is Twilight. And, you know, don't really take time to look into his other work, which I think if you take, you know, a day to watch some of his movies, you'll, you'll realize he's a great pick for Bruce Wayne. And then, um, like you were saying about kind of the other actors, uh, Nicholas Holt, I just, a lot of people had him on their fan cast list. I just, that's not really an actor I could see playing uh, Bruce Wayne or Batman. I just didn't really sell it for me. I mean, obviously anyone, I'm sure with the right chops could do it, but I just don't think he could do it. And then Army Hammer, everyone loves him for the role, but I do think, I don't know, I just, at one point I think he would have been great, but I think it's a little late for him. A little bit because of his age, and I don't know. I feel like that kind of fad has kind of passed with Army Hammer right. playing and that he was, role. You know, everyone, you know, does that fan cast because he was supposed to play Batman in the yeah. Justice League Mortal movie, and but also the fact if had he been cast when Affleck was cast, I think it would be in a different case. Um, you know, that was almost what five six years ago when when originally when he was cast. So 
Uh, it would have been different back then. Same with, um, uh, who's the other name? Uh, I can't think of it off the top of my head, but but you know, the, it's all about the timing, and like everyone wants to take on this role. Like someone like John Hamm, who was always talking about wanting to take on the role. He like you age out at some point, and like we have this is a franchise. There's going to be multiple movies. Reeves is looking to make a trilogy uh, to start off with, depending on what they do. Any more spinoffs or team up movies. So it's 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 a lot, and you need someone, which is which is what the difficulty was when they picked Affleck to play Batman in in BVS. Like he he was older. Like how, and we never, he never like got into the role and and made it like something that he was going to do for years and years. So I feel like that's what we got with Pattinson. Like he'll do this, he'll do this because this is like Matt Reeves is a great director. Uh, they have you know a good writing team on there with Reeves, and there's something to do there. He wouldn't just take this out of nothing because he's been spurned with Twilight. People, he was a joke for years and years and years, and some people still won't let it go. So if if he's signing on to this, I think there's a really good script behind it, and there's a really good team, and I think there they, there's going to be something there, and it's going to be a new take on Batman that I'm really excited for. Yeah, and I've mentioned this on you know our previous podcast multiple times, but they really backed themselves into a corner casting, you know, creating an older Batman for their cinematic universe. And while Ben Affleck was great as the role, and I thought Zack Snyder did a pretty good job with that interpretation of Batman. It's just like you just limit the amount of stories if he's already had all these things happen to him that we're not going to see on screen. Like he's already had a Robin or two and he's already put the Joker in jail and he's faced all these enemies and he's basically on like towards the end of his life by the time the Justice League actually forms. So like there's not really much you can do with that character. So that's why I'm really looking forward to a Batman who's just starting out. And, you know, I oddly enough, I looked up his age. Uh, I was mentioning how Army Hammer might be too old at this point, but Robert Pattinson is actually 33. Army Hammer is 32. That's um, insane to me. Army Hammer feels yeah. so much older. He, he does like, so much older. I think, I think it's his deep voice, and he's just <laughs> he just kind of has that presence of like a more mature like person, which, right. you know, and, I mean. And, right, and a lot of people were taking guys like Hammer and Pattinson out because of the reports that they wanted a younger Batman in terms of like someone like 25 to 30. And apparently they've gone a little older. Uh, Pattinson like looks a little younger, I guess. Uh, he, he's, uh, I think he's still got some youth in him. That yeah, he I mean, feels a little. He feels a little. Not that a Hammer doesn't, but Hammer feels older to me. I don't yeah. you know for whatever reason. I know. I know what you. Mean. I know exactly what you mean. Maybe just the physique. He's a lot bigger. He's a lot. You know. I, I, maybe he's been working longer, just in terms of what I've been watching. Um, like Pattinson, and I introduced, like I first saw in Harry Potter, which again, that's a role you can turn to to think like this guy can act. That was, that was it was it was small, but it was meaningful. And I think mm-hmm. you know that was much earlier in his career before he got all this work. If you're gonna blame anyone for Twilight, I think you blame well, first of all, Stephanie Meyer for writing the books the way they were, and. And, uh, you know, the direction they took those movies is much more of a problem than the acting in it. Uh, mm-hmm. The acting's not great, but, you know, a director will get the best acting out of anyone he can. And listen, we, we've seen Kristen Stewart. She's turned into, you know, her own as an actress. She A lot of indie stuff, a lot of good movies. So you can't blame him for those movies. Um, wasn't it? Wasn't there a report that for uh, Batgirl they were looking for a Kristen Stewart? A Kristen Stewart type. type. Um, yeah, she was potentially up for the role. They wrote the character out of uh, Birds of Prey that she was originally in the script. So she's someone they could turn to when they do the solo movie if we ever get to that point. So it's not out of the air that you know Kristen Stewart's someone they look at too for something in this universe because she's a good actress. It's mm-hmm. not about what you did in the past. It's about what you've done to this point. So, and I think Pattinson will embody that perfectly. Yeah. Couldn't agree more. Yeah. Any other any other thoughts before we wrap up here? Just get this out. Uh, I think we're all good. I mean, we've said jumped on all the topics, but uh, I'm sure this is something we will be discussing for many many uh, months. And absolutely, because well, I mean, if this has been cast, we'll start getting villains and and side characters here soon. You know, new Alfred, uh, new Rogues Gallery. So we'll we'll talk about how they'll bounce bounce off of Pattinson, and and who knows, maybe this deal will completely fall apart in the next few days, and we'll have to do another show. Yeah, exactly. You know, more content for the viewers. Oh yeah, of course. All right. Well, thanks for coming on. It's kind of early, but we wanted to get this out. So. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, where the fun people can find you? Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Caleb Saad twenty. Uh, be f- sure to follow our Twitter at Full Circle Cine. And, um, you know, check back here for, uh, you know, we got weekly videos, several videos a week. We should be finishing up our Game of Thrones podcast. The last one is a couple days, so we'll be getting that out shortly. And then we'll always, as always, we have our weekly shows. So, Jackson, you can end it for yeah, us. Yeah, I mean, you know, don't forget to subscribe and like and all that. And thank you for listening to this. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Jackson 67 And uh, we'll, be, we'll be back with a new show next week, uh, breaking down all the topics. I'm sure we'll get into this again. Um, as the news develops. So uh, yeah, thank you for listening.